Okay, kicking off with the on-off power switch located at the rear end of the device. So we used to turn it on and off. And here we have the power adjustment dial that enables you to apply varying force depending on the type of material you're working on. Simply turn it clockwise to dial down and anti-clockwise to dial up the output force. Moving on swiftly to the bimaterial finger trigger. It has a cushioned feel and a very subtle click action. The Brad Naylor also sports a comfy rubber grip handle and head cap. If we peel away the safety caps, there you have the contact safety contact trigger simply a safeguard against the gun accidentally discharging a brad nail mid-air the gun has to be firmly pressed against the body of material before being able to discharge a brad nail now onto the meat of the matter the magazine located at the back the mag release button hold it down Let's engage the locking mechanism and slide back to reveal the inner chamber which has a max load of 100 breads and I love the handy indicator window right there that tells you how many, well, lets you know if you're running low on breads. If we peel away some of the, the breads, you can see there's a magnetic strip that helps hold the breads in place during use. And that's about it. Only thing left to do is to watch the tool in action. Thanks. Goodbye.